Okay, next thing, let's see if you guys remember this. Hey guys, it's Monday morning. I have a handful of eBay orders to ship out, but first I want to tell you about a YouTube channel that my brother-in-law started. His name's Brennan and the channel is called The Curious Picker. Uh, he's been a part-time picker now for I think like six or seven years and he just finds really interesting stuff. And he's had the channel now for a couple weeks and I think he's put out four or five videos. And I wanted to point it out to you guys because I've learned a lot from him. He buys very unusual different stuff that I would never think to buy. In my opinion, the two greatest things that a reseller can have is intelligence and a good sense of curiosity like when you're out and about looking at stuff just like asking yourself could that be worth something and looking it up and that's how you learn and Brennan has both of those things so if you want to check out his channel the curious picker I'll put a link down below in the description all right let's get to work all right shipping some stuff at a d3 I think I got a handful of sales out of this bin so I'm just pulling the whole thing first are some CDs. It is Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. It's a lot of four. These are part of that a lot of CDs I got in that bulk buy and I decided uh, to do a couple different lots since I had like you know four Stevie Ray Vaughan, some Leonard Skinner and some other ones that I did uh, a handful of lots of just the artist. These sold for $14.99 free shipping. These are going to viewer named Marvin. Marvin thank you for the support. Hope you like the CDs. Okay we also sold Leonard Skinner. Let's see here. It is five CDs. These sold for $19.99, free shipping. These are grants of your name, Randy, who has bought a ton of stuff from me. Randy, thank you so much for the continued business. I really appreciate it. All right, that is it for D3. So we'll go ahead and put that back. Next is over here in F2. This is a Montana license plate. Bought this in Tennessee, actually, for a couple bucks. This sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Let's go on to your name, Troy. He says, hey, John, seems right that the Montana plate should come home to the treasure state. Appreciate you and your channel and would love a sticker if you got one. Working up a new SKU system with reseller YouTuber stickers on each bin. Thanks for your content, Troy Mountain Man Treasure on YouTube. Troy, thank you for the support. I'll be happy to throw in some stickers for you. Next is over here at A4 this Oakland A's hat new with the tags got this for a dollar as part of a bulk buy a hat so sold for $14.99 plus shipping All right next is over here in C5 it is a bobblehead Tyler Zeller got this in Cleveland along with all those um, collectibles and cars and all that stuff so I got less than a dollar into this sold for $7.99 plus shipping this is going to have to be your name Mason Mason thank you for the support I really appreciate it all right next are some pogs and look at that these are the last ones I have. I bought a ton of these at a garage sale probably four or five months ago. And I paid $5 for all of them. And <laughs> they've all sold. And I think, I'll look at the numbers, but I think it was a little over $200 I ended up selling all these for because there were so many of them. Um, if this is a lot of two, it sold for $11.99, free shipping, and I'm officially out of stock. Dupop Treasure Store bought those. They didn't leave a note, but I know they're a viewer, so guys, thank you for the support. All right, next is C3. This is also something I'm sold out of now. I had four of these that I got at a garage sale for a dollar each, and the other three already sold, and now this one sold. Uh, this sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Viewers Crunch and Sarah bought this. Guys, thank you for the business. Really hope you like the light. All right, a couple more license plates I'm pulling. Sold another army plate. New in the packaging, I've only got a few pennies into this. It sold for $8.99, free shipping. Let's go down to your name, Peter. He says, John, I've been watching your channel since March and love the content. I've since started my own reselling store on eBay. Just wanted to thank you for all the info you share. P.S. I love a sticker or two. Peter, I'm happy to throw in some stickers for you, and I wish you nothing but the best of luck with eBay. All right, the other license plate we're pulling is down here in F6. I've sold through these pretty quickly. This is a Michigan one from 1962, in pretty decent condition too, considering how old it is. I've got $2 into this one, it sold for $17.99 plus shipping. I think what made this one a little bit more valuable is the fact that it had an expiration date actually printed on the plate, as opposed to just like a little sticker, so I guess keep an eye out for those. Alright, last thing is in C6, it is this Kingdom Hearts Mickey Mouse figure. Got about a dollar into this. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. Your name Paula bought this. Paula, thank you for the business. Hope you like the figure. It's Tuesday morning. I only have three eBay orders to ship out, which isn't too surprising because I haven't been listing a whole lot lately. I've been doing a lot of buying, but 
not enough listing. So before I pack these orders, I'm gonna answer a few viewer questions. All right, first is from Andrew Fernandez. He asks, what is more important to you when buying stuff, how fast you can sell it or how high of a margin you can make? That is an excellent question. Um, I definitely take both of those things into consideration. Uh, the number one thing though is how much money I'm gonna make. If it's not gonna be worth my while or if the, you know, ROI is not high enough. I'm just not going to mess with it, period. Whether it's going to sell fast or take a long time to sell. Obviously, I, I prefer selling stuff that's going to flip quicker. You know, it's not going to take super long to sell. But there's some stuff that, you know, I'll hang on to for a while if I know it's going to be long tail. If it doesn't take up too much space, that's the other thing. Like, if I'm paying to store like big heavy items and they take forever to sell it just doesn't make sense next is from swans fan have you ever walked up to a sale and instantly walked away because of prices no i don't think i've done that um i'll you know i've been to plenty of sales where like I, right away i could just see everything's really high priced but i still try to see if i can't find something there to make some money on because i'm already there you know if i drove to the garage sale got out of my car and i'm already out walking around i'm not just gonna leave if something's too high or expensive so i try really hard at every sale to at least find one thing to flip and make some money on obviously that doesn't always happen but it's always worth a shot all right first thing i'm shipping are these four crochet kits uh they're all vintage from like I think they're all from the 80s all sealed in the plastic uh somebody reached out and offered me 15 dollars each i think i only had them listed for like 20 dollars each so all four of them sold for 59.96 plus shipping those crochet kits are going out to a viewer named karen karen thank you so much for the support i think you're going to be busy crocheting for a while next is a bumper sticker i've sold a ton of these i got like hundreds of them as part of a bulk buy i was in each one for a couple pennies this sold for 9.99 free shipping last thing is a baseball this one right here this is one of those autograph team balls i got as part of that big buy down in tennessee so i've got less than a dollar into it this sold for 9.99 plus shipping it's wednesday morning i've got 20 ebay orders to ship out uh this one though is not an ebay order this is something i picked up last weekend when i went over to see danny and parker bought a bunch of stuff out of their shop the owner named john saw this in the video and said he wanted it uh so i sold it to him for 15 dollars plus shipping and I even have a box that's gonna fit it pretty well. I'm just gonna have to cut it down. John's buying that for his dad. So John, thank you so much for the business. Really hope your dad likes that sign. Okay, next is back here in F2. This is the uh, audio Bible on CD I picked up a few weekends ago. Paid $5 for it and sold for $29.99 plus shipping. It's going out to viewer named John. John, thank you for the business. Really appreciate it. Okay, next thing. Let's see if you guys remember this. I picked this guy up at a garage sale probably two months ago. It is a vintage Mark's toy. It's called Silly Sammy. I think I either paid $10 or $15 for it. And I had it listed for around, I don't know, like $80 or so plus shipping. And yesterday I sent out a handful of offers on some things. And this was one of the things I sent an offer for. Uh, I sent out an offer uh, for $55 plus shipping and someone accepted. It's going to be a little bit tricky to ship. Fortunately the head actually comes off. There's a couple screws here, and I made sure I said in the listing that I would be taking the head off to uh, ship it out a little bit easier. Okay, next thing's over here in B2. This is a Mean Streets PC game. Uh, I picked this up probably three weeks ago at a garage sale for $2. This is also something I sent an offer up for. It, uh, I sent an offer of $25 free shipping and someone accepted. Okay, next is a coin over here in E1. This is a Jimmy Buffett coin. It was given at a concert he did here in Cincinnati. My dad actually spotted this at a garage show we were at. Um, paid a dollar for it. It sold for $34.99 free shipping. All right, next we're going over here to A2. This is a Yamaha Golf Visor. Pretty rare visor. I could not find any kind of comps whatsoever on it. Had it listed for the longest time. I actually got it at a garage sale for a dollar. I want to say like three four months ago something like that and i listed it pretty high to start maybe like 50 bucks just because i didn't know what the price of that um didn't have any bites so sent out an offer for it of 25 dollars free shipping and someone accepted next is a3 this is a nebraska huskers or corn huskers hat new with the tags i've got a dollar into this also an offer i sent out yesterday for 22 dollars plus shipping and someone accepted okay next order has two items first is an a1 this is a heavy duty electronic stapler. I got a whole big box of staplers at a garage sale about two months ago 
for really cheap. I bet I've got about a dollar into this. Again, really hard to find a price on these things, uh, especially used. So I had them listed around like a hundred bucks or something and just wasn't getting any looks or bites or anything like that. So sent out another offer for $35 plus shipping and someone took it. And that same buyer got another stapler right down here. Same exact model. And this one also sold for $35 plus shipping. All right, next thing, we're just coming in here. This is F6. I was working out of this bin yesterday, listening to some video games and some various things that I just recently picked up. And a handful of them sold, so we'll just go ahead and pull them all at once. All right, let's see. I sold Contra with a dust cover. This sold for $24.99 free shipping. Sold Ninja Gaiden with the manual and the dust cover for $19.99 free shipping. Castlevania sold with a dust cover for $24.99 free shipping. And lastly, Zelda sold. Have the manual and the dust cover that sold for $29.99 free shipping. All right, next order has two items in it. They're both right here. These are a couple of Netgear routers. Just picked these up uh, on that trip to Fort Wayne. Listed them yesterday and they sold right away. One of them sold for $49.99 plus shipping because it didn't have a lot of the extras that this one had. Uh, this one sold for $59.99 plus shipping. Going to the same buyer, so I'll put them in the same box and refund them the difference on the shipping. All right, just a few more things to pull. Sold a Funko Pop at a D8. And I think it's this one right here on top. Biker Daryl. Uh, this is part of the stuff I got up in Fort Wayne. So I don't have too much into it. It sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Next is over here in C2. This is a Radio Shack NASCAR racing scanner. I got this at a garage show for $10. It sold for $54.99 plus shipping. Sold another hat over here in A2. This is a vintage Pittsburgh Steelers hat. Pretty cool design too. It's corduroy. You don't see too many of those. Got this at a garage show for a dollar. Uh, this is also something I sent out an offer for yesterday uh, for $20 plus shipping, and someone took it. Your name Ashton bought this hat. Ashton, thank you so much for the support. Really hope you like the hat. All right, next thing we're pulling is back here in F1. This is also something I picked up in Fort Wayne. It is a 1970s Stag Honda Line motorcycle helmet. It's a small, unfortunately, so I think it hurt the value a little bit. Uh, I listed this yesterday, sold right away, and usually when that happens, I think that I underpriced something, but not in this case. I a, a lot of the comps I saw were around 50 to 100. I think this one just had a cool color, and the fact that it had the mask helped it a little bit too. It's rare that you see it with that. This sold for $99.99 plus shipping. If you guys ever come across old motorcycle helmets that have cool designs or a cool look to them, and they're cheap, go ahead and pick them up because they can sell for some really good money. Okay, last thing we're pulling is in D1. This is a remote car starter. I got this at a garage sale a couple months ago for five bucks. Also something I sent out an offer for yesterday for $25 plus shipping and someone accepted. If you're named Jane about this, Jane, thank you so much for the business. It means a lot. Next thing we're shipping out is this big tree stand. I got this last weekend at a garage sale for 30 bucks. It was brand new in the box. It was taped up and everything. So I didn't have to do any packing, which is great because it's really heavy. Somebody reached out and sent me an offer of $150 shipped. So I said, that's fine. So I turned on the offers and let them send the offer, you know, calculating the shipping. So it came up to like $109.70 or something like that, plus shipping. Let's go out to a viewer named Clark. Clark, thank you for the business. Really hope you like that tree stand. It's Thursday morning. I have over 20 eBay orders to ship out. First thing is right here in E8. Got to move this model out of the way. This is a John Deere die-cast tractor, and it's got this little attachment thing on the back. It's pretty cool. It's a bunch of corn and a little dog on there. Um, got this up in Cleveland with that big, a lot of die-cast stuff. Had it listed for about $30 uh, for, I don't know, a few months. Sent out an offer of $20 plus shipping, and someone accepted. Next is over here in F2. This is another offer I sent out. This is an old uh, Mattel Little Kittle, a uh, little, like, toy. Um, yeah, they're called Little Kittles. I think they're from like the 60s and 70s, and they have some decent value to them. I listed this, I think, for around 40 sent out an offer of $28 free shipping, and they took it. Okay, next are some Funko Pops. I sold quite a few, actually. I think pretty much all the ones I sold are from that Fort Wayne buy I just made. Okay, one buyer bought three. We've got Rosita right here, Gabriel and a bloody Daryl Dixon. These three sold for $19.97 plus shipping. And then one buyer bought two. There's Daryl Dixon, 
and Herschel Green, all Walking Dead Funkos. Um, these two right here sold for $15.98 plus shipping. True, those are going out to a viewer named Jimmy who said he's getting them for his wife. So Jimmy, thank you for the support. Really hope she likes those Funko Pops. All right, next thing is a hat right here in A1. This is a Camouflage Ducks Unlimited hat, new with the tags. Got this at a garage sale a couple weekends ago, a little less than $2, I think is what I paid for it. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Let's go on to your name, Hunter. Hunter, thank you for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, next thing is going to be an F6. Got to move some stuff out of the way. This place is a mess right now. Okay, um, I sold a handful of games out of this bin because I was working in here yesterday. First is Ninja Turtles Arcade. This one right here sold for $12.99 free shipping. Also sold Gauntlet out of here. Right here, that sold for $9.99 free shipping. Sold Kid Icarus. This one, uh, that sold for $16.99 free shipping. Sold another Ninja Turtles game. This one right here, that sold for $11.99 free shipping. And a viewer actually bought this one. John Carlos bought this. Thank you so much for the support, man. I sold Space Jam out of here. Where's that? This one right here. Complete with the case manual and everything. This sold for $19.99 free shipping. Sold Double Dragon right here for $11.99 free shipping. Sold a calculator out of here. Um, right here, this is a TI-83. This sold for $24.99 free shipping. Sold Tomb Raider. Uh, that sold for $14.99 free shipping. I sold Chuck Rock for Super Nintendo. This one right here. That sold for $8.99 free shipping. Let's see, Knight Rider sold. It's somewhere down in here. There it is. Uh, this had the dust cover and the manual. That sold for $14.99 free shipping. And that is it. This stuff sold really quick. Video games always sell fast when I list them. Okay, I sold another Funko Pop up here in C9. It is Doctor Strange right here got about a dollar into this it sold for 9.99 plus shipping that's going to be your name matt he says i'm a huge fan i just started reselling and i absolutely love it you're my biggest inspiration on why i started and if you wouldn't mind checking out my youtube channel out of the box finds thank you so much matt i'll be happy to check out your channel thank you so much for your support all right next thing is right here this is a wagner ware magnolite turkey roaster I bought this up in Piqua uh, from Danny and Parker, along with all the other stuff that I got from them. Um, I have probably walked by a lot of these over the years. I just recently learned that these sell for good money. So um, honestly, it doesn't look like anything that special. Just kind of a mundane pot, really. That's probably why I've walked by it so many times. But um, these have some value. This one sold for $49.99 plus shipping. All right, next down here, D6. It is the OAR DVD that I got at a garage sale. This has been about a month ago. I paid $2 for this. It sold for $49.99 free shipping. It's going to have to be named David. He says, John, thanks for all the great YouTube content you put out. OAR is one of my favorite bands, and I can't wait to have this on display in my home office. Thanks again. David, thank you so much for the business. I really appreciate it. Okay, next thing is a yearbook over here in A2. This is a Fairfield High School yearbook. Suburb outside of Cincinnati. Got a dollar into this, it sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Next is a mug over here in D3. This is also something I got in Cleveland. There's a whole bunch of mugs I got up there. Um, so I've got about a dollar into this, it sold for $14.99 plus shipping. It's Friday morning, I have seven eBay orders to ship out and I'm heading to my antique booth after I'm done. So let's get to work. All right, first thing shipping out is a hat, an F2. It is a Ducks Unlimited hat, new with the tags. Got this at a garage sale for a little under $2. It sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next is down here, D5. It is this guy right here. This is a uh, Sony remote control panel for like a video audio recorder type thing. Honestly, I don't know exactly what it goes to, to be honest. Got this a long time ago. It's been like eight, nine months, part of a big video audio buy that I made, so I don't have much into it. This sat for the longest time. I've actually got more than one of them, and I sent out an offer of $15 plus shipping just to get it gone, and somebody accepted. All right, next is right next to it in D5. Sorry, D6, rather. Um, let's see, it is this coin right back here. My dad gave this to me to sell. Um, I think he got it at a garage sale for a buck or two. This sold for $24.99 free shipping. It is a... Um, challenge coin that coin is going out to view named josh he says hi john i'm a marine veteran and was deployed in support of operation during freedom in 2005 this challenge coin will look awesome with my other coins 
I'm a big fan of your channel and like you, I've been reselling on eBay too. I just launched my YouTube channel called Flipping and Shipping, inspired by other resellers like yourself. I hope my purchase will give you a little support. Thank you for all the content you put out. Josh, thank you so much for your support and thank you for your service. I really hope you like that coin. All right, next is up here in A8. It's this big Funko Pop, Daryl Dixon's Chopper from The Walking Dead. This is part of the stuff I just bought up in Fort Wayne, so I've only got a, maybe a dollar or two into it. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name Colin bought this for his wife. Colin, thank you for the business. Really hope she likes this. All right, I sold another Funko Pop out of here. Eugene, also from The Walking Dead. He's even holding a jar of pickles. So that's pretty funny. Also got about a dollar into this one. It sold for $7.99 plus shipping. This one's going out to a viewer named Jorge, who has bought for me before. Jorge, thank you for the continued support. I really appreciate it. Next is down here in F6. It is an NES game. Let's see, Back to the Future 2 and 3. I know it's in here somewhere. This sold for $8.99, free shipping. Okay, the last thing we're pulling is in B1. It is an Army license plate. New in the packaging. I've only got a few cents into this. It sold for $8.99, free shipping. That license plate is going out to a viewer named Christian. He says, John, please help me out. I'm a YouTube viewer of yours and started selling on eBay over a month ago and have been doing great. Just recently, eBay started automatically adding best offer and accepted offer amounts to some of my items automatically after they have already been posted for a few days. It's a headache to revise these every day, and if it sells before I revise, I lose money. It's crazy. eBay help and Google didn't have the answers. I just want it off. I lifts with my iPhone. Thanks. I've never heard of that. It's a bit strange. Um... My first inclination is to think that by default, when you list an item, eBay is putting in that best offer. Maybe there's a chance when you list it, you're just not catching it, that it's saying best offer. Um, so I would be really careful when you list an item to just double check that does not say best offer before you list it. So that's the first thing. Second thing, a good way to change all your items at once is to go into eBay on a computer or laptop, PC, whatever, and go into my eBay, click on your active listings, and then you can do a bulk edit, okay? So you just select, get like a little button that selects all the items, you do a bulk edit, and you can change the best offer to off. That way it'll just stay off. There should be no reason that eBay is going in and changing it to on and accepting bids that's very very strange the only reason that it would accept a bid is if you put it in there to automatically accept it for a price so i'm thinking maybe by default it's doing that when you do a listing i know with some of my listings um when i create it by default it's having it as free shipping and i have to go in and manually change it to plus shipping so that's the only thing i can think of uh, if anybody watching this has had the same experience uh, i'm sure christian would love to hear about it any kind of advice you guys can give leave it in the comments below all right guys, I am done packing eBay orders. I'm heading to my antique mall right now. I've got two booths there. Um, I think it's been like two weeks since I've been there and I've been selling a lot of stuff. So I know there's a lot of stuff that I need to replenish, like records. Uh, I've got some like artwork that is sold, posters, just various things. And I get a lot of questions about my antique booth because I started it back in January and a lot of people kind of want like an update on how it's been going. And really, it's just been awesome. I mean, it's been, let's see, even though it's been about eight months, it's only been open for about five months, I think. Uh, when the pandemic hit, it closed down in March and didn't reopen until like late June or something like that. But January was a great month. Um, February was even better. And when they reopened in June, I got a second booth and it's, pretty much been the same uh, both booths are doing really well profit wise is about $700 a month I'd say total for the two booths after you know deduct the rent for the booths the commission my cost of goods all that stuff and really it's that's pretty good money considering I'm only putting about you know seven or eight hours a month into it as far as you know going there pricing the stuff sprucing up the booths making sure they look good and when I started it back in January and I was kind of running some numbers of what I could, I th thought I could sell, you know, I was, I was kind of hoping three or $400 a month profit, uh, you know, so then you multiply that by two booze and that's kind of where I'm at, you know, it was about 700 a month profit for the two. So 
I am extremely happy with it. A huge part of that success is because you guys have been so supportive. I've had a ton of viewers stop by and buy stuff and sign my guest book. So that means so much to me, guys. I really can't thank you enough for how much you've supported my antique booths. I know a number of you watching this have antique booths, and a lot of you have been kind of speculative about maybe opening one up. I get a lot of comments on videos, you know, like, should I open a booth? And I, I think it's a good second income source. Um, you know, it's, it's you're probably not going to get rich off of it. But I like the idea of having something else bringing in money besides maybe just eBay or Amazon or whatever platform you sell on. Kind of diversify where you're selling. Um, and the thing about Antique Boost is you can sell things in there that really don't lend themselves to sell online too well. You know what I mean? Like furniture, big pieces of like framed artwork or different things like that. That it just a lot of times isn't worth messing with on eBay. So... My advice is if you can find an antique booth around you or an antique mall, I guess, that has an open spot, definitely check it out as long as the rent's not too high. I would uh, definitely suggest getting a small booth to start. Um, don't go all in, you know, spending a bunch of money on rent because you have no idea how sales will be. Like, it, it, it could be really flat for a while and you're paying all this rent and you're not making sales. So I would say start small. When you think about what you're wanting to put in your booth, um, look around the whole mall, you know, talk to people, what's selling, what's not selling. I, I see a lot of booths in my antique mall that are trying to sell glassware and precious moments figures and just a lot of junk, to be quite honest. And it doesn't sell and, you know, people have problems just making the rent every month. So they're putting in all this work and they're just paying the antique mall. Like they're not making any money. So if there's anybody watching this that has an antique booth and you've had success, please leave a comment below. Let us know what you're selling, what does well. Um, I know that there's been some unique ideas that people have of like decorating in a certain way to kind of draw people in. Uh, some people like to pack as much stuff as they possibly can into their booth. I try to not make mine too cluttered because I want, you know, I want it to kind of be inviting. When somebody's walking by, I don't want them to look and just be like, that's a train wreck. You know, that looks like a mess. I don't even want to go in there. I kind of want it to look like, oh, okay, I'm going to shop around here a little bit. I got that cardboard cutout for mine, the Dos Equis guy. And he has actually been really good. I think he's drawn some people into the booths. I've had a few comments on that. So I think sometimes an eye catcher is good. That's my two cents on antique malls. I hope that helps. And I'm headed there now. You guys might be able to see behind me. I got a bunch of stuff back there. I'm really excited to go fill it up. I'll go ahead and show you guys a few things I brought in today. Um, this like decor piece. My dad actually found that at a sale. This Lionel Train framed print. I got that up in Cleveland. Another thing my dad found is this little like wood antiques truck. Definitely some kind of like retro looking thing, not, not antique. Um, this wood crate. Uh, I actually brought 11 jars, old ball jars and atlas jars. The other ones are in the other booth. Brass bell, a moose head beer sign. Filled up some records. Put about seven or eight bobbleheads in here. I think that's it for this booth. We'll walk over to the other one. All right, in this booth, uh, put some more records in here just to fill that up. Those have been selling really good. I uh, brought in this old handmade wood horse. Um, this reproduction like shoe mirror box. Coleman cooler that deer sign. Unfortunately, a lot of the signs I brought in, I couldn't hang up. They just didn't have anything to hang on them, so I just had to leave them sitting. Brought in a sled, a globe, this reg chair, some more jars, and this fireball whiskey chalkboard. All right, since I've last been here, a lot of you guys have stopped by to sign my guest books. I want to give some special shout outs. Aaron and Christian stopped by. Earl and Dustin. The Fords. Rolando and family, that's the guys you went up to Fort Wayne to see. Ryan and Tiffany, Seth, Dominique, Tori and Katie, Aaron, 
Ricky and Jesse, Buzz, Rebecca and Luann, Caden, and Chris and Lindsay. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.